Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card of someone who feels like they have to defend themselves. They feel like they have to fight for something. They are feeling, you know, a bit self-protective, or they're feeling protective of this connection because they're sensing a threat of some sort here. But there's this willingness to fight for it. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. The temperance card sagittarius energy and the eight of pentacles earth energy okay so there is a feeling of someone may have withdrew from this connection um this could be you this could be them with the hermit card there's this feeling of distance taking time apart space here um someone is showing up is turning their back on the connection um this might be temporary but someone is feeling like they're seeing this as a threat if you've pulled back your energy it is um causing them to feel kind of concerned um, this is someone though who's willing to be patient for you and this is their way of fighting for the connection with the temperance card they are hoping to reconcile here to um, get things back into balance with you they may feel like the connection needs work and they're ready to put in that work um, they this is a connection that they really um, treasure they see it as a divine connection and a connection that they won't let go of or allow to be taken from them easily that this is something they're willing to fight for Okay, so let's clarify these cards, um, Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the nine of swords in the reverse and this is air energy gemini libra aquarius energy so someone has been feeling anxious i do see they want to clear the air they may want to have some sort of um gentle peaceful communication with you to make sure that you guys are on the same page um they're looking at you as being very distant with the hermit being there okay so let's see Okay, we have the page of cups water energy the moon in the reverse pisces energy and the page of swords air energy they're very curious about you they feel like they they, they can't read you they can't figure you out so they want to initiate contact with you um with the page of cups they could be um opening the door here they could be um sending you some sort of heartfelt sincere message i do see them coming from a place of sincerity like they are speaking in terms of their feelings they, they they they're being quite um you know emotionally honest or vulnerable with the moon in the reverse as well it's like they're not going to make their feelings a secret here because they want to get clarity from you so they feel they need to lead the way here because this is someone who is again it's like they feel like they don't have direct access to you right now they're spying on you they're looking at your social media they're trying to read between the lines or figure something out they're not sure if you are committed to them or if you are interested in them so they're trying to figure that out and i do see them wanting some sort of direct communication and they feel like they need to initiate it okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you um gemini Okay, we have a new start is coming new moon so they could want a new beginning with you there could also be worries about whether you are giving to something else here um, but someone is definitely wanting to clear the air with you okay so i'm gonna put another card for you
Okay, we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So they're going to make the effort because they do see this as worth it. They see it as worth fighting for, worth putting in time, energy into. Okay, so I'm going to plot another card for you. Okay, we have graciousness and benevolence. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. So they do want to give to the situation. They may be preparing to do something quite sweet and generous towards you here as well. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, um, Gemini. Okay, so we have surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.